Outside the sun all time and still have vitamin D deficiency, your body might be screaming about something much deeper. What doctors might not have been telling you that inflammation and vitamin D are locked in a very vicious cycle and how that cycle can crash your iron levels too. Vitamin D isn't just for your bones, it's like your body's inflammation manager. When you're inflamed from stress, gut issues, PCOS, endometriosis, you name it, your immune system eats up your vitamin D faster because it's trying to cool the fire inside. That's why even if you are sunbathing every single day, you can still test vitamin D low. Your body is using it up just to cope. Now here where it gets even more interesting, vitamin D plays a role in how your body handles iron. We have a hormone called hepcidin. This is like a gatekeeper. When hepcidin is high, it blocks iron from being absorbed. But vitamin D suppresses hepcidin. So when your vitamin D levels are low, then hepcidin just goes up. And that means even if you're eating iron-rich foods or taking a supplement, your body isn't letting much of it in. So you're ending up with low iron, low energy, and a body that's too inflamed to function right at all. And this is not a theory. Observational studies have shown women who are low in vitamin D are almost twice as likely to be iron deficient. This is why inside my fertility circle, one of the first things I tell you is to look out for inflammation. Because if you don't fix inflammation, nothing else will be optimal for fertility. If you're ready for clear answers and real healing, join me inside my fertility circle.